Hey Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone for tuning into your reading, What's Crossing Your Path. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watchers who are connected to a Scorpio romantically. And we're going to be looking at what is coming up in this current energy and what's crossing your path in the immediate future. So we'll see what's coming up for you Scorpies. Now, if you would like a private reading with me, please feel free to email me to arrange that. Uh, also, if you'd like to drop a like on this vid, that would mean a lot. Feel free to subscribe and join the YouTube family as well. Um, if you'd like to sign up for membership to gain access to extended and bonus vids, please feel free to do that with the uh, at the homepage on the uh, on the home page with the join button. That would be great. Otherwise, let's jump into this reading. So some cards that I laid out here for you, Scorpio, that did come up straight away. What took, um, what sort of took me by surprise is this double effect that you have here, this double Piscean energy with the page and the King of Cups. Um, this was really powerful. Essentially what's crossing your path is the King of Cups. So, there is a very deep attachment that's forming here. Um, it's deeper than you thought uh, from your side, and it's potentially deeper from the person that you're dealing with. I also sense that there's a lot of subconscious activity, um, and that's going to come through here for you. So I feel like you're entering a very emotionally receptive time, and I feel like there's a lot of messages from the deep here that are coming up um, for you, Scorpio. So you need to pay attention. I'm talking dreams, premonitions, all that psychic activity. All of that stuff that you're really good at here, it's going to come up and it's almost like giving you glimpses into how someone feels, but also how you feel, how you truly, truly feel about a situation. So this is sort of mastering or opening up the subconscious. Um, I really feel like there is... There's not, there's like an opening for you to sort of fall in love or fall harder in an existing connection. And a part of you may even feel a little bit scared to fall so hard or like scared about how quickly you're falling. It's sort of, it's scaring you a little bit. And if we look into it deeper, it's because the tower is here. So I'm going to come right out and say it, Scorpio. Don't shoot the messenger. Um... There is a person that you love very dearly, but this person hasn't done right by you in a lot of ways with the tower card. There's been some hiccups, there's been some turbulence, but the both of you are still standing. You're trying to make it work, and I do feel like love exists here. Um, things are open-ended, so I don't feel like there is an ending in sight, but I feel like you don't really... Like the world is telling me you have a vision with this person and you've sort of spoken about a future together. Um, but somehow your life and their life seems like worlds apart. I don't know if it's distance. Um, you're, you're, you know, maybe they're at one stage, they've got grown kids, you want more kids. Um, you want marriage, they don't. You want an open relationship, they don't. You know, something about worlds colliding. And I think a part of you has said to yourself before, you're living in a bit of a fantasy Okay, it's like you've said to yourself, I'm living in a fantasy thinking this is the life I wanted because it's not. A part of you misses the old life you used to have. It's tough. I feel like you're in a tough situation because it's that King of Cups tells me like the Tower card, there's been destructive patterns here. But it's almost like you tell yourself this person is doing destructive patterns to you because they love you or because they care. It's like they're purposely making you jealous. They're purposely doing X, Y, and Z. Almost like you're making up excuses here for them, Scorpio. When you see the big picture, you see it all with the world card. There's no way this person can hide anything from you because you see it all. And for the most part, you thought, okay, I'm going to ride the waves just as the Page of Cups does. I'm going to ride the waves and see where it takes me. But I feel like the subconscious may be trying to warn you here because that's what's crossing your path. It's going to be it's going to be a question of how much you love this person and how much you're willing to tolerate. Because I feel like with the tower card, there's some patterns that need to be abolished, that need to be removed uh, in order for the both of you to move forward. The both of you to be in a 
in a healthier um, in a healthier kind of way here. So messages from the deep. There's messages, but whether you're listening to them is a different story. Um, and this is why I feel like with that Pisces energy, you're sensitive. You're more sensitive than you you root than you normally are, Scorpio. You're picking up on some on some frequencies here. Um, so it's almost like picking up on an energy that seems foreign. You've built this up. You've built this connection up. You've built this person up in your head and you have these expectations. You had something here, but a part of you feels like they're not being met. And that subconscious is screaming out at you. Sometimes you listen, sometimes you don't. But the world is telling you you need to understand this situation or you need closure. I don't know if a part of you also needs to get out there and see the world, relocate, be single, move, date around, be with other people. The world is like can be like self-exploration and seeing the world, experiencing life. Um, and I feel like some of you are holding back because you don't get to do this when you're with this person. Something with the tower card prevents the both of you from doing that. Uh, and then you end up living in a fantasy, either imagining what you, where you could be, the person you could be with, the life you could have had, um, the children you could have had, the lover you could have had, the ex you could have had, um, the living situation, because it almost seemed attainable. It almost seemed... Like you could have, you could have had that everything that you pictured, um, and maybe on some level, you know, this this is this comes pretty close. Maybe it's not exactly what you pictured, but you know, maybe it comes pretty damn close to what you thought you'd have or where you thought you'd be. So I feel like for the most part, that's what's keeping you emotionally binded um, to that person. But. I feel like it's the flow of things. You have to be receptive to what you're feeling and you have to share it with this person. The world card is telling you you need to share your thoughts and feelings, even if it risks, um, even if the risk is it eventuating in that tower moment. The King of Cups wants you to do that. You have to do it. You know, it's your higher self, your inner spirit that's driving you to do this Scorpio so obviously it's going to be up to you but I feel like that's that's a very powerful message here for you um, Scorpio but I'm going to leave it there um, I do hope this reading has been helpful so thank you again everyone for uh, tuning in uh, don't forget to drop a like if you've enjoyed it to subscribe to the channel by hitting the bell notification button and the subscribe button on my homepage. otherwise I hope you have enjoyed and until next time bye for now